<laughs> All right, Bob, you're latched. All right. Hello? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Oh, awesome. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I appreciate it. Still about three minutes out. Okay. Now, weather on the 10th. From your Northwest Arkansas Weather Authority. Good Tuesday morning. It's a little bit of a wet one out there, especially if you live in portions of western Benton County. High heating and cooling mega Doppler tracking that batch of rain that has just persistently stayed in that portion of the county, not really any of the eastern county portions of the county, and then everywhere else, not dealing with any showers this morning. Now, if you do head on I 40 back to the west, you are going to run into some pockets of heavy rain with that leftover uh, kind of remnant low from a storm complex that fired up yesterday. Live the Doppler radar showing some of those heavier rain pour, heavier downpours kind of moving out of Delaware County, which is good. There is a flash flood watch in effect until 7 o'clock this evening and then zooming in to Benton County. You can see Hawassi, Bella Vista, Sulphur Springs, Gravit, Maysville all getting in on some of that heavy rain. Decatur, Centerton, maybe even Bentonville. Gentry getting in on some lighter rain activity this morning. And that light rain probably is still coming down pretty good just because the atmosphere is very, very Hey, Bob, can you just count to 10? We have lots of water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This morning. There is that leftover localized area of low pressure. It's starting to die out. And these systems typically do die out as we head towards sunrise. And then they reinvigorate as we go through the afternoon. And they form somewhere else down the line further to the east. So that typically will probably be right over us, if not right on the edge there of eastern Oklahoma and then moving into northwest Arkansas tomorrow. And that's why we're going to see lots of rainfall over the next couple of days, at least for our Wednesday. And then as we go in through the afternoon hours, you can see some of those showers starting to develop across northwest Arkansas, isolated showers out. possible across the River Valley. And then as we go into the 6 o'clock hour, that basically stays with us, and it'll start to dissipate some as we go towards the later evening. We'll get a break, and then we'll get, again, a resurgence of that uh, mesoscale convective vortex or that low-pressure system, and we'll see more showers and storms tomorrow morning. Low 70s across the region right now, mid-70s across the River Valley, and we're dealing with lots of rain. We're talking 2 to 3 inches plus above and north of I-40. South of I-40, one to two inches, so not as much. And because of that, tomorrow especially, we're at a level two out of four for excessive rainfall. That means slight chance of flash flooding possible. And so we'll have to watch that very closely. would not be surprised to see flash flood watches being issued as we go into the day tomorrow for northwest Arkansas. And we back off to a one out of four for excessive rainfall as we go into our Thursday. Friday also looks very wet. So the next three days, you can expect to see lots of rain. Rain chances likely as we go through those next several days. They taper off as we go through the weekend. Some cooler temperatures also for the River Valley, actually below 90, if you believe it or not there, Caitlin. So lots of rain. Keep the mm -hmm. umbrella with you for the next three days, and then maybe we'll dry out as we go into the weekend. Some much-needed rain giving yes. us some relief from this warm. I Alexander, agree. thanks. Well, everything looks a little different right now, even pro sports. We've got former Michigan State quarterback Bob Guinea with us to talk about how to enjoy sports right now safely during this pandemic. Bob, good morning. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. 
how can we go about creating a great fan experience for our friends and family from our homes? Well, you know, like you mentioned, everything is looking so different today. I mean, nothing is like it was <laughs> uh, even six months ago or a year ago. Uh, so I have created the perfect game day setup. We're lucky the sports is back. So we got something to do, at least with our time. We can watch some television. But we have the best seat in the house available for everybody out there. And that really is on our couch. Think of it. You can go to the game and <laughs> someone who's rooting for the other team won't be dumping beer down your back as they cheer for the other guys. And That's no need to thing. cover the kids' ears. Yeah, no need to cover the kids' ears if things go sideways. So it's really perfect. And I have got the best view of the game on the planet right now. I have LG's CX OLED TV. This is an absolutely beautiful television. It is unrivaled picture quality. I mean, this thing is absolutely stunning. Uh, it scores points with sports fans, gamers, film buffs alike. So that's pretty amazing. Um, not only, it, it also has a sports alert. So you're not only watching the game, but you're also able to keep up with the other games that are going on there. I'm out there. You can keep track of your favorite teams and their schedules, notifies you when a team scores. Plus, for that full dynamic stadium sound, it's smart. It's a smart television, so it automatically hooks up to your Bluetooth speakers. You can link right to them, and it also works with mm -hmm. Alexa and the Google Assistant, so you can find out all sorts of information mid-game, too. And remember, LG's 4K OLED TV family uh, sports different sizes for all the game buffs out there, so 48 to 77 inches, so every sports fan can enjoy the screen the size that they want. And to learn more, you can visit LG.com. That, that's awesome. What are some ways we can heighten that experience? Well, we always need great food, right? And that's one thing that we can do oh, for you. LG's oh, yeah. InstaView range. This is amazing. <laughs> it's an InstaView range with air fry. This is fantastic. So what this allows you to do is you don't even have to open it up to check it. You knock twice on the unique glass window that it has, and it lights up inside. So there's no more constantly checking your nachos to make sure you're not burning them. You can step up your food game and you can air fry your wings. So you don't have to feel guilty about eating deep fried food because it's actually air fried. Yes, you can make sweet potato fries. These are just two of the many guiltless options. You see onion rings there. And you'll never have to miss the big play either because they have an AI enabled customer service solution called Proactive Customer Care. Now this gets alerts and maintenance tips so you can keep your oven in perfect working order, avoid potential issues. And we also have the ThinQ app, which is on your smartphone. So you can set timers and check the status of your food. And here again, works very seamlessly with Alexa and the Google Assistant. So you have a great way to sit there and hear about your food cooking as well from Alexa. But at the same time, mm -hmm. you're actually able to check it out just by knocking on the window. It's pretty awesome. Some great things to help us with game days now during this pandemic. Where can we go to get some more information? All you have to do is uh, visit dailylounge.com, and you can find out all the great ideas we have for game day right here. All right, Bob, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. Sure. Thanks for having me. We'll be right back.